Brandon. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey guys, this is Brick, and welcome back to Dungeon World. In the last segment, things ended off very precariously. We had Gregor leaving the Paladin Order building, confused and angered that he has to take time off, ordered by this new commanding officer, Harrison. And then we had Juan Dig and Thelian. And Thelian. In, in the main plaza of the city, whose name is simply just never going to be mentioned. Um, well, no, we have this name for the city. No, I don't remember. It's never going to be mentioned. No, it was Rokon. Yeah, Rokon. Never going to be mentioned. Um, <laughs> Juan Dig. speak of it. Juan Dig has formulated a plan with Thelian. He's going to have Thelian distract the guards in some way, using a fruit stand, apparently. Yes. And Juan Dig is going to simply walk into the front door of the blacksmith's house to take back the 3,000 gold... That he is owed. Well, that the weaponsmith is owed, and in exchange, he's going to keep There's gonna any, be extra, nothing in there. any extra goodies, along with a very special dagger. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with uh, where we left off. Thelion, you're walking towards the fruit stand. I am walking towards the fruit stand. Um, you need to create a distraction. The fruit yes. stand is being manned by a young woman. Manned. Okay. It's being womaned by a young woman. <laughs> and there are mostly strawberries, but there's a couple of apples and a couple of blueberries. There's no reason for these special details other than to paint you a picture. There are many people in the plaza everywhere. There's a couple of them in front of the fruit stand. What okay. <laughs> guards, guards <laughs> dispersed everywhere. Okay, here's what I do. Because, you know, I love to show off my wondrous you can start like chopping up fruit <laughs> i take out my spear guards immediately look towards you and start dancing around in circles waving my spear excellent around. excellent a circle quickly forms around you people backing up terrified no no they shouldn't be terrified they're terrified of the fact that you're swinging a weapon around in the middle of town but at the same time they're rather impressed by your by your finesse and skill now could you very uh, quickly, roll. I want to see just how well you do this. How charismatic are you? Would you please roll 2d6 plus your charisma? Uh. I want to see how well you pull this off. <laughs> you could do it dexterously. I guess I guess it could be display of skill rather than of charm. So go ahead and roll. Like roll plus your dex. All right. Nice. You're doing Excellent. backflips and shit. I knew you were the shit. right man. You're doing backflips and shit. You're swinging around the spear, but you're not chopping anyone's head off. It's like the moment where you had hope for Oberyn, essentially. It's really great. <laughs> yeah, He's just good. spinning around looking crazy, and everyone's like, ooh, ah. The fruit girl at the fruit stand's like, oh. And then the guards even, they, they originally grabbed the hilt of the sword, but now they're just kind of standing around the ring with their hands on their hips kind of staring impressed like mm, man i could totally do that you see that Pfft, easy and they're just kind of you know jabbing at each other and totally distracted juan dig excellent i proceed to the front door okay as you reach for the door's handle you find it to be locked as expected here we go <laughs> what are you doing i'm gonna pick that lock all right let's see how that goes uh <laughs> yes. What happens when I oh, goes off? Juan Dig, not used to performing around so many people, breaks his lock pick off in the lock. Uh, do I have others? <laughs> yeah, you have more, but you gotta. It, it's it's taking you extra time, and Thelian will only distract people so long with just jumping around All and right, spinning well, around. One more attempt. Okay. Okay. So, you have to give me you like you pick two and then I choose one of the two or something like that. Okay. Let me let me look at what we got here. Yeah, you choose between suspicion, danger, or cost. Spinning up my cool little book. I'm in the wrong section of my cool little well, it's book. It's like uh, the GM will offer you two options between suspicion, danger, or cost, and then I will choose one of those. Okay. Yeah. Suspicion, danger, or cost. Okay. Either you ah, let's see. You break your lockpick and you will not be able to use it until you 
get a new one at the market, which means essentially just until you're done with this little heist of yours. Or uh, you arouse suspicion and one of the guards will see you, uh, see the door close behind you. No, I'll break the lockpick. Okay, you hear the door open with a satisfying clink, and you feel the lock mechanism move. But as you pull the lockpick out, it gets stuck and breaks in half. The door is now unlocked, though. All right, well, I proceed in, and then I close the door behind me and then relock it. Okay. As you move to relock the uh, door, the lock is jammed from the lockpick that is currently the first lockpick that you jammed inside. So you cannot lock the door behind you. Eh, whatever. Alright, what do I see inside? What's the house layout? Okay. It's a three-story house. It's thin, but it's got many layers. In fact, Roderick is a very interesting blacksmith where he has built no staircase, but instead ladders to the mm-hmm. second and third floor built against the wall so he can have extra space to place his many riches. On the bottom floor, there is a lavish red carpet with gold and blue outlines on it. There's a fireplace. There's a cooking section. Steal the fireplace. Totally. I mean, (laughs) does anything look like a safe or are there any kind of like rooms on the first floor that I need to check? On this floor, no. In fact, there's only one room per floor. This is a very crowded, very wanted section of town. So as as a result, they are small but lavish and great, and great in location. All right. Well, I will. Uh, if I don't see anything that would look like a safe or something, then I will proceed to the next floor. Okay. Take the carpet. You climb the ladder. However, before we proceed with you, Gregor, as mm. you leave the Paladin Order's building... What what do you feel? What do you feel about what happened in there? I feel like why did he want me gone so bad? He's a uh, suspicious. I'm right so suspicious right now. Corruption in the this order. Guy is. I don't right think suspicion he's a real guy. indeed. As you walk <laughs> out pondering and thinking a thing that your real life persona would never do. Um <laughs> You bump into Rory. He says, ah, I was just coming here to deliver the information you gave me at the front gate, but it appears you beat me to it. I see you wanted to take full credit, you bastard. And he gives you a clap on the shoulder. (laughs) He just likes to say, bah. Uh, uh, uh. (laughs) What did you say? I was at the market and everything. What were you doing? (laughs) I had to go back to my watch for a little bit. I was just relieved. (laughs) Okay. What have you been up to? You went. Where'd you go? You went to the market. You said. What'd you do there? I got some rations, cause you know food's good, right? Aye. It always <laughs> tastes like crap. Those rations, but at least it works. At least it fills your stomach. Now, what did they say when you gave them the information about the bugs being flammable? How do you know? I told them about the bugs. You told him. <laughs> you told him. <laughs> you told him. <laughs> I know. Okay. The, like, <laughs> he was as surprised as you were, um, and I don't even know who this guy is. I are you talking? New guy? Are you talking about Captain Harrison? I don't know. I forgot his name. He got in here just a couple days ago while you were gone. Yeah, it was all of a rush, but he had he had a he had a, a letter and everything. He was he was completely legit, as far as I can tell. Where was, he, where was he from? Some higher up place? From from corporate? <laughs> <laughs> where was he? Uh, corporate, not like the orders ah, he, headquarters or anything. He didn't tell me. He simply, I, I met him and the first thing he said is I should take some time off. So I'm going to be doing that in a couple of days. <laughs> what? 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 Okay, where do you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, let's go to the beach. <laughs> Did you... Wait, so what do you reply? <laughs> I can never tell when you're, like, making, like, a joke and when you're actually being what your character is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I tell him I was also relieved, but I kept my badge because I have power. <laughs> ah, I see. You could never, you could never let go of that, could you, Gregor? You, you silly man. Um, wait, then he let, he asked you to take time off, too. 
That's yeah. very... That's bizarre. I don't... Yeah. Why would he want us both to Kinda take time off? Kind of handed aren't we? Yeah, we're, mean, not, we're not that well, man, that we can send two of the greatest Radiant Knights on the walls and in the city. Aren't we the only ones uh, oh, left? That's funny. <laughs> What'd you say? Aren't we the only ones left? Greatest? Yeah. They fought in a war, Byron. They're the only two survivors of the front line. Whether or not Gregor is currently acting like the greatest, he's got a lot of legends surrounding him. Yeah. At this point, he's pretty famous for not dying. There are, there are others, though. It's a, yeah, but he's of. They are the two surviving Radiance Knights. But there were plenty that survived the war. But you, you brought down the gates and you punched a hole. Yeah. Now why? Their defenses. Wait, was it? Was this the same city? Yes. Yeah, this is the one. This is first. this is the same city five years later. Okay. It's being rebuilt, and you know. Right. right. Okay. Did you did you talk to him? Did you ask him why did, why is he sending you? I oh wait, never mind. I'm I'm sure he's sending you off because you never take time off, you daffy bastard. But <laughs> he he didn't give me a very good reason. Why didn't you ask for a reason? I don't know. You I was, always ask I, I was for very, reasons. I, <laughs> Old pal. <laughs> <laughs> I usually I would question it, but I've been yearning for some time off. I met a lass the other night in the market, and ooh, I'm going to be chasing her for the next few days. That's for damn sure. Was she a, on, on some fruit uh, stand or something? <laughs> <laughs> Rory kind of looks at you very suspiciously. I... How would how would you know that? Brandon, you're not supposed to know anything about the fruit stand girl. <laughs> no credit gaming. <laughs> that's that's amazing that you guessed that. Um yeah, did you see her running around? I mean she's the most beautiful thing in this damn city. No, just a, I just just a guess. I I know no, you. Oh, we know each you. other. Yeah, oh, we I used know to tell you. me how you're into fruit and uh stuff. <laughs> <laughs> You're so into fruit. <laughs> I yeah, that that's one. Uh, her, yes. I haven't even gotten her name yet, but we had a lovely couple of chats, and I swear to God, I've bought more strawberries than I know what to do with. But <laughs> I'm a little more. I'm starting to be distracted from her because this Harrison fellow. Did you feel that he was deceiving you at all? Uh, he just kind of didn't answer my questions and left. I got a little confused, and, and I don't even know who he is. Ah, he was deflecting you. That's, that's just suspicious as hell. Let's just, we should, uh, we should go talk to the other paladins or something, see if anyone else has been let off. I, I don't feel safe about this, and just to make sure, we should do something about it. You still have that badge of yours that could come in handy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so where are you gonna head to go talk to people? Um, you can head to go the walls. To you where, can go to the market. Um, what was my friend's name? Rory. <laughs> yeah, we go to Rory where he was doing his watch thing. On okay, the wall. where he was we stationed on the walls. Duty. Okay, excellent. You guys start walking over now. Thelion. Still spinning my spear around. Woo. As you continue yeah, to spin and flip and twirl and blah, blah, blah. I've been doing this for like 10 minutes now. And blah, blah, blah. The crowd begins to uh, disperse and get kind no, of no, no, Can no. you do anything <laughs> else? Juan Diggs already in. You don't, you don't have to do this anymore. What was that, Brandon? <laughs> Can you do anything else? <laughs> Can you do some cool tricks? <laughs> Breathe fire. We okay, saw so that already. The crowd, the crowd starts dispersing. And that's okay, because Juan Dig is inside. No money was dropped, because you do not look of poor birth. But as, as everyone begins to disperse and walk away, um, you hear a voice say, That was amazing! And you turn around and you see it's the girl behind the fruit stand. Why, thank you. Where did you learn to fight like that? Or dance like that? Whatever that was. Uh, in my home, in my home city of what? What was my home city? Oh, Eldora. Eldora, that's Eldora. so. 
that's so interesting. That's so foreign. That's so you are amazing. And she she's totally just like got her hands like over her cheeks and just leaning against the fruit stand. I'm totally gonna looks, crash this party when I get you. out of here. <laughs> staring at you. Would you like some fruit? I saw nobody threw you any money, so you can take a couple of strawberries on me. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take one of those. He stabs the cart with his spear and starts getting <laughs> strawberries off it. Like a shish kebab. Okay, so you, you, you take some strawberries. You eat some strawberries. They're delicious. They're the best. They're poisoned. They're some of the best strawberries you've ever had. Okay. And she uh, she looks at you. Were, you came into the plaza with a friend. Where did he go? I don't know. I just, I just felt like dancing. <laughs> I just felt the need. <laughs> and, you know, a normal person would be just like, you just felt like dancing, that's weird. But this, this girl, obviously, uh, is a little smitten. So she says, oh, I love dancing. I love it. Um, are, how long are you going to be here? Uh, not long. We're going... We're, we uh, haven't been given any orders. You don't have a plan right now. <laughs> Oh, we don't? No, no there's we don't no, there's no outside yet. plan yet. Okay, I don't know then, but probably not long. Oh, but that's a shame. I was going to see if you wanted to come dancing with me on the morrow's night in the plaza sure, when the moon we can is do full. That. If really? I'm still here, we can do that, yeah. Really? Oh, that's wonderful. My name is Jezebel. What's yours? Thelion. Ah, Wait. as foreign as the city you come from. Wonderful, wonderful, Thelion. Um, you enjoy those strawberries. I need to get back to work. I can't be seen chit-chatting too long. Otherwise, my father will... Well, he wouldn't be very happy. Who's your father? I will kill him! And she says, No! Do not talk! We will, we will save it for another night! And she, she kind of smiles right. and giggles and goes to another customer that's trying to buy some of her fruit. Okay, I walk away and... Uh, I guess down the street towards the blacksmith's house. Okay. So I should have given him the next step of the plan. <laughs> Are you just going to stand outside? Oh, no, no. I'm just going to kind of walk inside. slowly. <laughs> just like walk into the blacksmith's house. Like, hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> so just walk slowly past it and then kind of, you know. Meander around it. Look, look around um, for him and like, you know, chill out over on the side. Kind of okay. looking. So you don't exactly, you don't know what he, or exactly what he looks like, but he is a big burly guy, that's all. That's all you really know. Okay. Okay, inside the house, Juan Dig has moved to the second floor. And up there he finds, let's see, what would be a good thing to put in here? Ah, yes, he finds a room amassed with steel and the most, some of the most intricate weapons and designs you've ever seen all along the wall. They're all ordinary in nature, but they, they look simply astonishing. They look like something royalty would own. And you, you think this must be Roderick's private weapon collection. Uh, so it's just a room filled with weapons and... Yeah, and like, there's, like, there's, there's some like mounted animals, and it's essentially a big old trophy room. They, it's, it's medieval times. They don't exactly need a room for like reading or shit. That was the bottom floor with the hearth. There is a second hearth. It seems to be three layers all leading to the same chimney, three different uh, fireplaces going up the wall. And there's nothing like along the walls or anything like that that would be like uh, you could potentially hide something behind. The walls are covered with weapons. There's a couple of paintings on the walls. I will inspect those paintings. Okay. Our, there's one in front of you with a, uh, a picture of a speared boar and a great man standing atop it with one foot. And then on the other, on the wall to its left. I mean, I want to see. I want to look behind the paintings. Okay, I know. I'm just I'm explaining which one's which, so you can. I could probably use that information later. Fine, fine. Well, I mean, like, <laughs> tell me. Keep telling me about the paintings. Oh, okay. <laughs> the painting to its left is smaller, and is a bowl of fruit. Just you know, the classic cornucopia. Oh, that one. Oh, that one. Oh, him. Yeah. Yeah that one <laughs> so are you going to like pull one of them off the wall 
I mean, I, you know, look, you know, under it, kind of like feel along it, the edges, you know, see if it can be like easily displaced. Okay. So as you, um, as you check under him, you walk up to the one with the boar and the man and you see that it's signed at the bottom right and it's in a golden ink. It seems pretty dang, pretty dang cool looking. And then, by who? Uh, it's cursive. You can't read that shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's be honest here. Nobody signs an illegible font. Da Vinci. Um, the other, the other painting uh, comes off the wall as well, and there doesn't seem to be anything behind it. This is just a trophy room, it seems. All right. Well, then I will proceed to the next floor. Okay. As you reach the top of the ladder, you come up and you see a massive down bed it's one of the most co- it's probably the most comfortable bed you have ever seen with golden golden sheets and a canopy above it made of white dove's feathers on the wall you see a painting to its right another bowl of fruit curiously enough and as you reach the top of the ladder quiet as a little thief as you are I'm you a hear you hear soft snoring <laughs> All right, well then, uh, I again, you know, do I see anything that would uh, look like a safe or something of the nature? The walls are barren except for the painting. Well, then let's inspect that painting. Okay, as you as you pull yourself off the ladder and touch the ground, there's a mild creak of the floor. And the snoring stops, and a very frail voice very tired voice calls out, Roderick, is that you? I refrain from answering. <laughs> I don't know what he sounds like. It's a, it's a, it's a female. Voice. No, no, no. I don't know what the blacksmith would oh. sound like. So oh, gotcha. I don't want to replicate his voice. <laughs> okay. And then she says once again, Roderick, my sense is... Is it so... dark or... It's, 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 there's, it's well lit. There's windows. There's the window that you could have climbed in from the outside. The third, the third story window that's pointing to the alley. Which has I mean, I need to get... It. And there's nothing like to hide behind or anything? There's nothing to get out of line um, of sight? No. Not really. Not except going it back down the ladder. Right. There, there are dressers along the wall that you could, you, could, <laughs> you could squeeze yourself behind. So anyone in the bed would not be able to see you. All right. Well, I'm going to try to get behind a dresser real quick. Okay. As you move, there's another uh, gentle creak of the floor. And you get yourself behind the dresser. And you hear the voice call out once again. Roderick... I feel so faint. My senses are so dull. Is that you out there? I'm not saying anything. Silence. She's dying. I mean, you know, that'll make it a little easier. But... <laughs> <laughs> and then she, uh, she calls out one more time, Roderick, and then kind of puts her head back down on the, the mattress. And then you hear a heavy sigh. And all of a sudden, the figure in the bed, you can hear the springs underneath the down. Uh, yeah, springs. There are springs in this time, apparently. Uh, were there? I don't care. Uh, and you, you hear her push herself up from the bed and says, well, I guess, I guess that's not him. And she, all of a, she just springs out of bed. And you hear her feet land on the ground. Oh, so she's tricking him. All right, perfect. And she, oh. she just kind of <laughs> whistles and like, puts, her, puts her slippers back on. And begins walking towards the ladder. By the way, if she goes down the ladder, she will totally see you hiding behind your little dresser. Hmm. Uh, is there anything I can do in this? I mean, I may have to engage, but... Uh... You may have to engage. Or come up with a, come up with a plan, man. I wish, I wish I could, like, throw my voice or something. <laughs> That'd be a great power for thieves. It, it, that'd be a cool move, but I don't... It doesn't, doesn't exist. It's probably under magic, I would assume. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so... So what's your plan? On a, as, she, as she walks towards uh, the ladder, you, have, you either have the choice to reveal yourself or she will reveal you. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just the blubber. <laughs> what? I'm just, a what? I'm just a handyman working. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I will wait for her to reveal me. Okay. She walks over to the ladder, and as she turns to take it down, she. If I can like swiftly maneuver as she's like turning and on the ladder, like I'm sure she has to like look down to get on the ladder. Like, I would try to, you know, 
scared away. Okay. As you skirt, she does not see you, but a gentle creak of the floor w- reveals you. And she looks up and, and simply, very surprised but calm, asks, Who are you? What do you want? I still don't say anything. <laughs> Just, <laughs> very charming there. <laughs> Um, well, like she didn't see me, right? She just yeah, heard she me. Saw you. No, she, saw she you. looks up after hearing you creak. Oh, so you mean like I couldn't get behind something else? No, no. Oh, not not before she saw you. I mean, I thought what you had implied was that she didn't see me, but she just heard me. Move. As you as you moved to uh, to get behind the other side of the dresser to hide from her, the creak happens. And she looks up and she sees you. <laughs> All right, well, You're then, not that uh, quick. If, well, I mean, if she sees me, I'm, well, she's looking directly at me. She, who are you? Uh, I, I just walk over to the bed. I sit down on it, cross my legs, and then uh, I say, uh, hmm. Someone who can help you. <laughs> At first, she seemed like her guard was up, but now she, her shoulders lower a little bit. And she looks at you and says, What could you possibly have to offer me, intruder? Well, and before you say anything, it cuts it. away. It cuts away. And we port over to Gregor and Rory walking side by side oh, man. down the city streets. And Rory asks, You know, Gregor, I never really asked you, where are you from? Uh, you know, uh, it's... Uh, no, I don't. That's the point. That's why I'm asking. Now's not the time. <laughs> now what else are we going to do? We are walking. There's nothing. <laughs> what are you We're not even about? on duty. Strawberry girl. I, the strawberry girl, I could talk about her for hours, but no, I want to talk about you. I don't know you as well as I wish I could, brother. He's like Hulk Hogan, brother. (laughs) Uh, You know, I'm just a regular old guy. (laughs) You're not regular. I saw you fight five years ago. You are a madman with a blade. But who taught you that? I was, uh, my father. He's ah, pretty cool. Ah, your father. <laughs> Classic. Until the incident. Was he, as, <laughs> was he as great of a warrior as you before he passed? He wasn't that good. I'm better. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, that's classic you. Classic you. What happened to him? If, if you don't mind me asking, if it's not too personal. Nothing can be too personal between two radiant <laughs> oh, nights, am I right? <laughs> he choked on some pie and uh, died. Some guy broke in and stabbed him. It's pretty scary. What, you? <laughs> what a dishonorable what's, way to what's die. You know about Yato? Then he was. Oh, ah, no. you were young. I understand. Did you see it happen? His eyes are kind of wide now. He's very interested in this little story. No, just the aftermath. You know. Ah, oh, that must be terrible. Did you have a mother then? Uh, she was gone. So gone it was where? okay. Gone as in permanently or on vacation? Like, what sort of gone are we talking about? Uh, she went to milk the cows. <laughs> she was hit by a meteor. <laughs> <laughs> she was milking the cows and got hit by a meteor. <laughs> <laughs> She was milking the cows. Was this during yeah, broad I was, daylight? I was on a farm, you know, was this, was farm this during, guy. Yeah, farm guy, totally. You'd strike me as a farm guy. And he kind of like scrunches his face and looks away for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> was this during the day? Was she milking cows in the dead of night with her feet? No, it was pretty early in the morning, you know, break of dawn. Ah. And then I guess for some reason this guy likes to do you know, early morning break-ins, I guess. Early morning break-ins. He must have seen his chance. I'm amazed he didn't wait for your father to leave, though. What was yeah, your father? Like, what did he, he likes do? To do it and I guess he got him while he was asleep. Yeah, I guess so. Did he take anything? He's totally like... My father? 
Hi, hi, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, of course, of course. There's nothing more valuable than the life of a father. I'll stop pestering you, I'm sorry. That's obviously not a great memory for you. Um, let's just keep walking, then. And he kind of he kind of looks away, almost feels a little bad for pressing the issue, but he got excited. Is there, would, is there anything you would like to say to him, Gregor, or are you going to simply keep walking? Yeah, uh, where were you from? <laughs> where am I from? It's funny you should ask. Because, <laughs> uh... You know, I really don't remember much. I was... I remember snow. I definitely, definitively remember snow when I was growing up. And not just during the winter, but all the time. Every day. I remember looking up at the Great Peak. But I haven't seen that mountain since I was a boy. For sure. Those mountains in the distance don't even stand close to this towering giant. It wasn't wide and short like your little mountains. It was tall and thin and impossible to climb without all manner of gear or magical witchcraft bullshit. <laughs> but really, besides that, I, I don't remember my mother. I barely remember my father. Blonde of hair and tall of stature, but thin. And then, all of a sudden, the next thing I remember is being a paladin. And then a couple of days later, I charged into a city with many brothers at my side, including one Sir Gregor. And he laughs and claps you on the back. Come on, we're almost to the wall. <laughs> yeah, I know that guy. And then, woo, 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 we go back to Thelion, standing outside of the blacksmith's house. I'm just standing here. As you're standing there, inspecting my spear. A massive man with huge, bulging muscle arms, an apron, and a hammer in one hand crosses in front of you and seems to be walking towards the blacksmith's house. Excuse me, sir. What do you want? Oh my god! <laughs> I just. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do? What'd you do in response? <laughs> I didn't mean to make that so violent. You know, hold on. Let's, let's, let's go to a break. <laughs> we'll be back shortly. <laughs>